course so this method that we're calling here validator form is valid will return this variable back to us so this variable whether it's true or false that's what will um decide the output of what this form valid re um returns to us okay so now let's go ahead and actually write our first function which is add field so we'll actually call it. it's going to be a public because we want um outside users of our plugin to be able to call this method so it's going to be a function called add field and its first parameter is going to be field name sorry i keep spelling field wrong i don't know just dealing with files all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add that field name that we just passed in to this array of fields over here so the way we do that in php is we actually have to if you want to access any member of a class you have to start it with dollar sign this and then you just put an arrow just after that so this fields this fields um yeah we need the square brackets equal to field name okay all right so that's done so next what we're going to do is we're going to actually add um initialize one array inside of our field errors once again that represents this field that we just added so let me just show you what i mean in a moment so since we've added this field name to the um, list of fields in this array here what we want to do is we want to say this and then we're going to say um field errors equal to array and we want to add an associative array inside of this array as well so i'll quickly show you what that means what the form of that will be so field name okay so since this field errors is actually an array so there will be one sub array inside of it that will actually hold um, the errors for a specific field so each field that's being added to our plugin instance will actually have a sub array inside of this field errors okay all right yeah that. so next let's create our function which actually adds a rule to the field so that's going to be a public um, function as well and it's going to be add rule to field okay and its first parameter is going to be field name and the second parameter is going to be field rule and remember that's an array so we're going to have to check its um, properties the, the list of items inside the array so let's store the um, rule name let's try to extract it from this array so rule name if you remember over here the rule name is the first item in the array so this array over here if you want to get this name here you're going to say that array and then bracket square bracket and then zero okay so that's what we're trying to get here so rule name equal to field rule field rule and then square bracket and then zero so that will give us the name of the rule okay so we actually going to have to create a switch statement right and the switch statement will check depending on what the rule name of the rule is so rule name okay and depending on what the name of that is we'll have to um, act on that so basically right now the only rules that we have in mind is min length and empty so let's um, try to check for those cases so we say case min length then we'll act on that over here and we'll have a break okay and the next case we're going to check for is case empty so we're checking these rule names which one is it is and then we'll act based on that right so we'll have a break after that as well and if you remember it's always good to have a default case when you're dealing with um switch cases so we'll have a default and we'll act on that as well and then it will have a break as well okay so let's check if the name of the rule is actually min length so we know what um, parameters are going to be passed <coughs> excuse me if um 
the name of the rule is min length. So the first thing we're going to check is since we're going to be posting values to this page through um, PHP's post um, global variable, we know that all the um, values for the for the form are going to be stored inside the global under dollar underscore post variable. So we say string length of dollar underscore post and then we've been giving the name of the field so we're going to say field name which is this field name over here so if the string length of the field name is less than the if you remember the name of the rule is min length and the second parameter pass for min length in the array over here is actually the minimum length that we want to make sure that that value does not um, be, go under so we're going to check if the value of the name of the field that we're checking is less than um, field rule square brackets one so we get in the value for the rule as well if it's less than that we're actually going to have to do something and what we're going to do is we're going to call a method which will actually add the validation message message that we want to appear when that rule fails so we say add error to field And we say field name. And then next, we're going to say, and since if you notice, um, the names of our forms that we're passing here. Actually, I do. I did see a mistake over here, so let's rectify that right now because that would have blown up in our face if we tested the script. Okay, 